In this video, I'm going to show you how to take three different images or photos and combine them into one figure. Say you want, would like to submit a figure to a journal and you would like to have three different figures combined into one and label them as figure ABC, for example. Let me show you how to go about that. Now this is a Word document containing uh, pictures of for a validation study that was done. And I'm going to click on this, Control C, you can also do your right click copy and I'm going to paste it onto my slide. Let's just remove these from PowerPoint just to make it look nice and neat. Uh, choose your next one, Control C, Control V to paste, Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Okay, and I've got my slide and my three images which I would like to add. Now the first step is to have a look at how high this slide is. Go to Design, Slide Size, Custom Slide, and the height is 19.05 cm. Let's stick to that height and modify from there onwards. Now choose all three your images. I'm, I'm clicking on the first, keeping control in, clicking on the second, clicking on the third. Go to Picture Tools, Format, go to Size. Now before you just change this, make very sure that the Aspect Ratio is locked. Lock Aspect Ratio. Otherwise you're going to get this long thin pictures if you don't click on this little button. Now we want to change the height. But from these sizes we can see that um, PowerPoint thinks this is the height and this is the width. So let's change the width, in other words, to make sure we get the right effect. And we're going to change, make it exactly the same size as the slide height, 1905. Once you're done, click on any spot in the slide. And here we have our slide pictures exactly the same size as our slide. I'm going to just zoom out a little bit. So you can position them. Make sure they're on the side and don't go over because whatever's not on the slide will be cut off. But here you can see there's a little bit of space and a little bit of space there. Now I'll go back to design. We're just going to modify the width of the slide. Let's make it 32. It's a lucky guess. But now is the choice. Would you like to maximize the size of your content or scale it down to ensure it will fit on the new slide? Choose Maximize, and there we go. You can leave a little bit of space there, and perfect. Put it nicely in the middle. Now that looks nice. Now the next step, let's put a lovely little border around it. I'm going to Insert, Shapes, choose this little one, and let's make our border. Can you see that that can become a border potentially? Now if you have these auto styles it's very easy to just click on them, open them up and choose this option. In case you don't have this in your program let me show you how to go about manually doing it. Go to, you're still on the drawing tools format, shape fill. We, we don't want a fill, no fill. Shape outline, we want a black outline and we would like to add some weight to it. That's nice. Now the next step is to add some word art, um, A, B, C, or 1, 2, 3, depending on the journal's requirements. Now you can see here it's nicely in open in front of you, but if it's not there, you can also go to the Insert tab, Word Art, and choose your standard formatting. Let's call it A. Move the wrong thing. Move the wrong thing again. Okay. Make sure you click on the right spot there. Now when you're there, you can again control C, control V, control V, and let's position it here. We're just copying and pasting so that we make sure we use the same size. And we have our ABC. Perfect. Now from here onwards, save it as a PowerPoint file. 
so that you can modify it afterwards. So the journal reviewers may come back and say that they would like to change something. Um, maybe the way you've numbered it, the spaces between, the order of the pictures. So give it a nice name and save it as a PowerPoint presentation. But also go back afterwards, click on Save As again, and then save it as a JPEG. And from here it will ask you all slides, just choose just this one, otherwise it's going to end up in a, another folder, which we don't want. Perfect, let's see how it came out. And here we go. And now from here onwards you can go back and you can modify things from, from this point, move things around. But if you're happy, you can save it and copy and paste it into your dissertation or attach it to the online system when you submit your publication. I hope this helped and enjoy making those images in PowerPoint.